7.5 meters long and 4.5 meters wide. Weighing half a ton, especially for this coat of arms, steel of the same brand was cast, from which the entire monument is made. Over the past week, the Soviet coat of arms was removed from the highest sculpture in Europe and the shield was partially opened. Due to the design features for the historical rebranding, part of the skin had to be removed. According to the engineers, the most difficult task was to install a system of cables that could safely leave the huge coat of arms. There were technical difficulties when we provided access to the shield and to the Soviet emblem. These were very difficult conditions, but we overcame them. First there will be a lifting, then it needs to be installed, centered, partially fastened, checked, and then there will be welding. The fate of the monument was decided by the whole country in July 2022 at a vote in the DIA application. 85% of citizens voted in favor of changing the coat of arms. In addition to the emblem on the shield, the name of the monument will also be changed. Motherland will become Mother Ukraine. The initiative was proposed by the leadership of the National Museum of Ukraine in the Second World War and supported by the Ministry of Culture and Information Policy. It seems to me that this is all a very good sign, a sign of a change in those narratives that unfortunately led to this war, from which the Ukrainian people are suffering. Everyone who has seen this coat of arms, who lives on the left bank of the Dnipro River, those who have repeatedly visited this museum, who have seen the monument in photographs after Independence Day, have asked questions. Why do we still have to observe the symbol of a state that no longer exists and hostile to the Ukrainian people. Well, today we are observing this, and I hope by the day of the national flag we will see the completion of these works. That Rezub will be fully installed and fixed in the coming days, but all installation work, according to engineers, will be completed closer to the 23rd of August. Reported by Diana Kulasnik, Danilo Kobza, UATV News.